In this video, you will learn the compilation process of C programs. Suppose that we have a C program called example.c, and we want to compile it to example.out. A common way to compile example.c to example.out is to use GCC. We can call GCC example.c dash o example.out. In this way, we will get a new file called example.out, which is executable file compiled from example.c. Although compiling a file only requires one command, the compilation process is actually composed by multiple steps. In fact, GCC is composed of three components, compiler, assembler, and linker. The compiler of GCC is ZC1, the assembler is AS, and the linker is LD, which is wrapped by clapped to. The fact that GCC is composed by multiple components is actually hinted in the complete name of GCC, the GNU compiler collection. Now we're going to look into the details of each steps. In particular, we're going to run GCC example.c-o example.out dash save at dash temps and dash v. These two options enables us to generate temporarily file and also intermediate commands. So the first step of GCC is to compile the source code. In this step, source code will be transferred to assembly code. Instead of running GCC, we can use the specific command in the collection, cc1, followed by example.c, dash o example dot s. The compilation process is also composed of two steps. The first step is pre-processing. In this step, the preprocessor will remove comments, substitute macros with the actual definition, resolve those conditional compilations such as hashtag if def, and combine source code into one file. As a result, the source code will be converted to an intermediate file called example.i. Now let's take a look at example.i. This is the source code of the file. In example.i, we can see that there are many hashtags, which denotes the line location of the file and the flags of the file. And also we can see that there are a lot of tab define, as well as the declarations of functions, such as printf or fprintf. This file is very long. There are about 2K lines of the code. The end of the code is the actual example.c that we wrote before. And as you can see, the source code is actually pretty short, only contains about 20 to 30 lines of a code. After preprocessing, it contains more information. This information are implicit in the original source code. In the next step, given example.i, the preprocessed result, Compiler will turn it to an assembly code. This is the key process of compilation. And there are many steps over there. We're not going to go into the details of each step. Instead, we're going to give you a brief introduction of those steps. For more information about compilation, I recommend you to go check compiler courses. Compiler includes the following steps. First, in Lexo analysis, syntax analysis, semantics analysis, and intermediate code generator, it will transfer example.i from C code to an intermediate code using intermediate language. Followed by that, the compiler will optimize the generated intermediate code. In the end, the compiler will translate intermediate code from intermediate language to assembly. And if you check this generated assembly, you'll be able to see that the generated assembly is pretty much ready. 
And let's take a look at the original source code. The original source code is composed of two functions, init i and may. In the generated assembly code, we can find label init i and label may, which represent function init i and may respectively. Also in the main function, you can find instructions call init i and call printf, which maps to the statement in the main function. After compilation, the generated assembly will be sent to assembler, which will generate an incomplete machine code. The reason why we call the generated machine code incomplete machine code is because library functions will be missing. This code will not be able to execute it. Actually, if you check the type of the file, you'll be able to see that this file is called a relocatable file. And given the relocatable file, linker will be called to translate that to an actual executable file. And in the linking process, machine code will turn to be complete. The jobs of linker is as follows. It will make sure that the environment is ready before function main is called, and it will make sure that the library functions such as printf will be resolved in the executable file. And of course, linker will make sure that the program once generated will be able to execute it and finish the property. After the source program, go over the entire process from compiler assembler to linker. It will generate example.out. And if you check the type of example.out, we'll be able to see that it is in type of ELF 64-bit LSB executable. Here, ELF is a specific Linux format for executable programs, which we will talk about in the future lectures. An LSB means least significant byte, which is something that we talked in the last time. And if we run the example that out, we will be able to execute the code correctly with the expected output.